What's up, guys? Jason of New Age Revolution and New Age Revolution Jr. down here on May 26th, 1976. That's right, it is my birthday. It is not 1976. What year is it? 2021. Oh, very good. <laughs> Today, this morning, it is uh, my birthday, my 45th year on the planet, and uh, feeling good, and we got a haul. I, I would say, I will say this is my... my biggest birthday haul Well, not my big, I wouldn't say biggest, this is my best, this is my best birthday haul ever. These presents are all awesome, there's some really special ones in here, and... Uh, I, I just said this is this is the best stash I've ever gotten for my birthday. Um, but first, a, a friend of mine, a friend of the, well, he was a friend of mine for years before I even you know watched YouTube. Uh, local uh, local indie superstar in the in the indie wrestling world uh, dropped off a, uh, a pretty awesome uh, 1991. TV Guide when they switched over to their larger format, um, and uh, this is the uh, this shows off the the finale, the series finale of Dallas. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the series and finale yes. of Dallas, uh, uh, May fourth through May tenth, nineteen ninety one, in this awesome magazine style, and I haven't looked through it yet, but I I got a feeling. I'm probably going to end up preferring the larger magazine style over the standard TV. I thought I would never say that, but I don't remember this. I think I was getting a little older. I wasn't really, you know, wasn't too interested in TV Guide. I don't really remember the bigger magazines. We had a we had a cable guide that was pretty big, that was magazine style. I remember that, but I don't remember the TV Guide going big. But I, I just you know, thumb through this real quickly, and it and it looks awesome. There's a lot more ads in here, which are cool. What about main events? It's not not this one, but a um, lot more ads, uh, bigger stories, and it's local. This is a Rochester, New York edition, which is always a super bonus because I get to see like local channels and local stores. There's advertisements for local stores in here, which may or may not still exist. Pretty cool stuff. So, thank you to Star Rider. The greatest indie manager of all time. Whew, let's get at it. All right, we'll do this first. Okay. All right, so this, the kids out there know that, uh, well, actually, they, they, they don't know, I guess. They, they always see me with a beer in my hand, like some, you know, raging alcoholic. But uh, I, I, I'm a, <clears throat> a, I'm a Pepsi fan. I love the Pepsi. I love the logo. I love the, uh, I love the history. Um... The, the Americana, <laughs> the drink of choice of Americans, Coke or Pepsi. Uh, I've always been a Pepsi guy, and uh, and again, there's there's always a there's always a history. There's always a backstory. You know, my 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 grandma probably had undiagnosed diabetes because she drank Pepsi for breakfast. She would have Pepsi before bed, and it was always around the house. I remember when they would come in these these little bottles and the labels were styrofoam and so you could I would peel off the labels and they would peel real cleanly along the I just just memories well uh, we've got a metal Pepsi sign from I have no idea when it's full of wear and rust and joy and I don't know where it hung uh, there's some there's some holes for hanging, but then it's got like this lip that kind of sticks out. So I don't know if this was in the top of a machine. I don't know if this was just hanging in in a, in a store. I think it was in a machine because it's just got too many too many weird folds, and I I, I think this was sitting on top of something, some kind of some kind of machine, a pop machine or 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 not. Often this was just a like a like stuck on a random anything machine. It was just a Pepsi, Pepsi sign. Could this one? I will. It, it could have been outside of a store. I don't know. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be working on uh, transforming the garage a little bit into, uh, into a little bit of a, uh, 
um, a little bit of a, a museum for for you know product art. And I'm, I'm not going to focus. I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to Pepsi, and and uh, you'll see the other in a minute. Um, the Jenny, the Genesee Light, the Jenny Brewery, Genesee Brewery in Rochester, New York. We're gonna we're gonna turn turn the garage into a little bit of a Genesee Brewery uh, museum, and we'll certainly include some Pepsi items like this. We've got the Toys R Us uh, banner hanging up in the garage, Dude, so that's I'm pretty cool. Going through this right now, but when you're doing this, I'm gonna go grab Kleenex. You're gonna go get a Kleenex? Yeah. All right. Okay. So you want me to do the boring present while you're gone? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be, I'll take you outside after this, so stay tuned to the end of the video to see the patio, the, uh, the new Nup Bar and Grill, K-Pub, as I call it. I have, I have created the K-Pub in my backyard, and that's been stressful, um, but it's almost done. And, uh, so I've got my, I got my new grill out there. And I set up a little station to hang all my grilling tools because, you know, when I'm out there, I hate coming back in the kitchen. You know, where's my tongs? Where's my spatula? No, no, I want the big spatula, not the little one. So uh, I got my own set of outdoor grilling utensils, all big and long, like me. And I'm back. With tons of Kleenexes. Right. And um, I'll show you later in a minute. At the end of this video, I'll show you where I'm going to where I'm gonna hang these. I said I did something pretty cool. I'll tell you the story behind that, too. There's always a story. But I got some my own barbecue tool set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big deal. That's not, that's not toys. But it's cool. And, of course, there's a story. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Keeping with the grill theme... It's a uh, deal in grill sign. I had this, uh, they, they made the sign up for me. Jason's Bar and Grill. <laughs> so, uh, we'll, we'll hang this outside somewhere. Uh, I'll attach it to the bar that I made. And uh, that'll be awesome. So that's pretty cool. Some outside stuff there. That's actually pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Alright, here we go. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Want to do those? So you know that uh, you know that I love the the trucker hats, and I got a nice little collection going here, and and um, we've got some awesome ones to add. There's two in here that I have been wanting since I began with the trucker hats, and I'll show those in a minute. Why don't you show off the first one? What do we got? It's a trucker hat, GI Joe. We got with a two pins. We got a GI Joe trucker hat with two pins attached to it, because you know back in the day. You wore your pins on your hat. So we got this awesome, oh, it's still got the uh, little little form holder in it. Uh, so we'll have, to, we'll have to shape these up and size them up. Maybe we'll wear this one during collecting is half the battle. But we have the G.I. Joe trucker hat with a couple of pins. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now this one. Now we have Wagon Bush. Who? You do Who? One. Who I do we know. have? Hey, <laughs> Wagon Bush? I don't even know. I don't even care. <laughs> I have been wanting this. I saw this t-shirt uh, a few years ago. And I have been wanting this t-shirt and this hat for years. The Reagan Bush in 84 hat. This is my favorite present of the day. The Reagan Bush trucker hat. There are t-shirts out there for this. I love the t-shirts. I just love it. Forget all that modern stuff. Forget all the current political nonsense that's going on. Let's just go back. And I don't even know. I, I was eight. So don't be like, oh, Reagan, Reagan didn't do really that great for the guy. I have no idea. I was eight years old. It's Reagan Bush in 84. And I got the hat. And I couldn't be more thrilled about it. And this then, one I've been waiting for for years so as well. Oh, hold, hold your Kleenex. Oh, yeah. that's that's a, a real treat. Thank it's you. It's a blockbuster hat. And there he is. Now, what's blockbuster? Uh, it's a video game store and a toy store and a movie store where it's all into one and you can take home video games. It's just like a library, but for video games, movies, and DVDs. Very good. And toys. Very good. There go. There's no toys, but... Very good, oh, yes. Oh, man, I won't go through that store. Well, it doesn't exist anymore. The whole concept doesn't exist. Do you know, I don't think I ever explained to you, we would go 
to this place, Blockbuster, and they would have walls and walls of movies, and then they would have a section of walls and walls of video games. <laughs> and you would go, and for like, well, it used to be like two bucks, and it was three bucks, and it was like five bucks, but you would go and you would, just like a library, you would take a movie, bring it home, watch it for a couple nights, and then bring it back. And you, that's how you would rent a movie. It's just like the library. Could you rent stuff there? Could you what? Rent stuff. Yeah, that's what I said. You rent. You you got to pay for it. Rent. Can you buy it there too? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. They would they would sell you movies that that like you know that they didn't want anymore or yeah, whatever. Really, really. But anyway, blockbuster, blockbuster trucker hat. Mine. Mine. Great. And now the, to now to go with the hats. And now this is my present. This is from that you. Mommy got me. To get you. Yes. Okay. That's just to not give for, me. Now this is not for daddy. So I can hang up my hats. I got this baseball cap lap. <laughs> and I can put it on my little sweet doll with all my posters on. Well, I'll tell you what you can do. There's two of them in here. And each one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have, let's see how many trucker. No, I might have to use both, dude. This holds up to 18 hats. Not, it's a, it's an over-the-door rack for your hats. Because all, all of my awesome trucker hats are right here sitting next to me. And so, you know, now yes. if I hang them up, I know what I got. And I know what I want to wear on the show. Go. Oh. All right. So more, more with the uh, Jenny Genesee beer. Hang on, what are you doing? I'm looking at it. Oh, more with the Genesee beer uh, theme. You know the, the the museum thing here. Scoot over a little. The museum theme. We have uh, two very vintage retro Jenny Light uh, and Genesee beer cans. These little baby bottles. These are fantastic. Uh, this was from 1978, the annual distributors meeting, uh, March 27, 1979 in Rochester, New York. This bottle commemorates three, I think it's three million barrels of Genesee beer. Three million barrels in 1978. Who knows where they are now? I would assume three billion barrels. Uh, but this was a commemorative bottle, I think, given out, uh, which is very cool. Um, it is, yeah, it's got some... It's got some, definitely some moldy mold in there, but we can get this cap back on. And then we have an unopened. And I never understood how they did this. Do they drain this slowly with, like, a needle? <laughs> or does somebody just get this off the line unopened? But we have an unopened, unpopped, empty, Jenny-like classic style. Could you imagine drinking? Look at this. How, how classic, how throwback is that? Oh yeah, it's so classic. I think it's it's I think it's frozen in there. It is not frozen in there, it is empty. Two awesome local Genesee brewery items to add to the Genesee Beer Garage Museum. And this one's from me too. This is this is outstanding. This is a this was a major surprise. It was advertised as a McDonald's lunch pal from Play School. No date on it, but obviously, I would say early 80s, probably 81 or 82, a McDonald's Play School lunchbox. Outstanding. I was overly joyed about this, overly excited. How fun is that? I love it. We got to make more room down here. We have to go through yet another transition down here because the stuff that I want to show off is just not getting the... Uh, Attention. Not money. getting the attention that it needs. You're right. So this is another one of those items. The, the McDonald's collection is growing. Here's another item. The Play School McDonald's lunchbox. Hey, bud, come on. Join us. To add to that, Finn, why don't you show off this one? To add to the McDonald's theme, okay. I finally, finally, after years of Dog. not having it. Let me show you. This. Hang on. After years of not I'm having it, what it is. we finally it is have the Bornstein Bears. Wrong. Muppet Babies. <laughs> it is the Muppet Babies 
McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Finally, I finally have them. What do you want to display them, Daddy? Well, we've got to make room. Come on in. We got to make room. We've got the uh, we've got the Miss Piggy. We got the Miss Piggy. There he is. There's the five-year-old hiding behind me. We got the Miss Piggy in her car. We have Baby Gonzo and his tricycle. This was my favorite when I was a kid because I was such a big wheel fan when I was a kid. We've got that. We've got. Uh, I think it's. I think Fozzie sits on the horse. I think. I think we got to get those. Yeah, there we go. There's Fozzie Bear and his horse. And then, um, and then we've got Kermit rocking the skateboard. There it is. Love that. That is awesome. And then we have an extra Kermit, kind of a. Uh, I don't know if this was like series two or, or later in the you know later, but this is Kermit on the uh, roller skate. So we finally got the Muppet Babies. Um, come on, come sit with me. We finally have the Muppet Babies. Happy Meal toys, and I think I don't. I don't think I have the box, so I, I might need to. Now I got to get the uh, the Happy Meal box. The um, I'm gonna show you guys the well, the something that's holding all these. Oh yeah, yeah let's well, let's show not. this one. Look, off you're course. still kind of off camera there. You gotta slide over, bud. You gotta slide over to me. There we go. That's what I like right. it. You okay, show those? so first I'll show this off. No, no, not yet. Save that for last. That's like that's the best. Okay. What do we got? So, here we got a whole section of four TV guides. TV guides. For Daddy's main events. Yeah, for, for Daddy's main events. Now, uh, all of these, and I'll have to go through them, and I'll, and I'll do a special episode where we, where we review the Saturday Night's main events, but we have four, four TV guides, all featuring Saturday Night's main events. I gave my wife a list. And uh, she just picked them off one by one. So we've got four more to add. And we'll go through these separately together. I looked through them. There's a couple of interesting things in here. There's um, there's uh, two. Let's see. I'd have to go through them entirely. entirely. But there are two without uh, ads. You know, like the, like the half-page ad. And uh, they just happened to, to be the Saturday night's main events that came on at 10.30. Now, this is New England. This is the New England uh, TV guide. And it's just strange that, let's see. Oh, Nebraska, I'm sorry. Uh, N-E apparently is Nebraska, not New England. Welcome to third grade. Uh, the, I have two Nebraska issues of Saturday Night's Main Event, which would mean that they were, or two, two Nebraska issues of the TV Guide, which would mean that they're in a different time zone from me, which would mean the Saturday Night's Main Event is airing at 10.30. And coincidentally, in those two issues, there is no half-page ad. There's just a listing. So now, is that, is that, was that exclusive to that uh, geographical location of the TV guide, or do we not have an ad for it? I don't know. Did every Saturday night's main event come with an ad, a half-page ad? Not according to these, but we'll go through these. I'm excited about them. Four more to, to add to the collection, and then the final thing. When this came in the mail, so all my all my stuff comes in the mail. It came in and, and it just looked like the most odd packaging because they didn't put it in a box. They just wrapped it the way it is. Uh, and so I was like, what is this? Okay, so it, it came, like I said, in an in a extremely odd shape. It was wrapped up in plastic. I'm, I'm tearing it open. I, I can see that it is actually a basket of some kind. I'm like, what, what is this? And then, then something starts to shine through the plastic. It's the, it's what? What's the letter R. The letter R starts to, but there's something unique about that letter R. What it is it? It has a star on it. It has a star on it. And, and take a look at the direction of the letter R, R. What is it doing? Is it facing the right way? Is that how you write an R? Yes. No. <laughs> That's not how you write an R. That's a backwards R. And that's when it hit me. 
we have got an official Toys R Us. Sorry guys, you're out of the picture. Toys R Us basket from the defunct place where a kid could be a kid. And that now ignites the Toys R Us memorabilia collection. Yep, it's on. That is going to be my newest obsession. We've got an official Toys R Us basket. Unbelievable. That blew my mind. I'm getting nervous because we're running out of room down here, guys. I don't know what we're going to do. We've got to make room. We've got too much awesome stuff to display. The Toys R Us basket. Are we going to move to the garage? I might start moving the memorabilia collection to the garage. Maybe the Pepsi stuff. Maybe the Genesis. I don't know. How are you feeling? Good. Good. How was my birthday? Good. <laughs> I can't wait to go to the Chinese restaurant today and Target. Yay! Yeah, we're going to go to the Chinese restaurant. I don't know why we would go to Target. Somebody wants toys on my birthday. So I can get Jeff Hardy and, uh, wait, wait, uh, Matt Riddle. Riddle. Matt Riddle. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, what about the Uso? I really don't ever want you guys to have a Matt Riddle anything in this house. I love Matt Riddle. <sighs> He's kind of the biggest tool in the world. Me too. You too. You want Matt Riddle? I want Matt Riddle. I'm not giving Matt Riddle any money. All right, so that's that. That's the birthday haul. Uh, I got my two best presents right here, and uh, we will uh, stop stop choking out your brother. He's turning purple. And so we'll, I'm going to take you upstairs and show you the, the, the patio and all the stuff that's been stressing me out lately and all the fun stuff we go. Oh, that's the, that's the fakest hug ever. You guys are going to be killing each other anyway. Stick around for the patio. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, New Age Revolution. Uh, stick around for the patio right now. All right, guys, so here... Here's the new patio. This this thing is huge. Like here's the entrance to the backyard, and the patio goes pretty much the whole length of the house. And uh, it's been stressful because they this was all this was we had paver patio or pa uh, pavers from the edge of the door came out a bit to a little before it ends there, came around here. This was all we had like. The garden extended out this way. It was, it, it was the garden went to there, and then we had like like a path that came in, and there was a huge bush right here, and we tore it all out, and we had them put in the patio, and uh, so you know, so let, well, let me, so here's the, here's the uh, the couch set that I was waiting for to arrive from the Amazon. Uh, there's our math. We have such. A long yard and a ton of a ton of like gardening all the way like even back by the shed there's there's new plants that need water so we have to have three of these stupid flex hoses put together to reach 150 feet uh, so that we can get all of the watering done and th this is like the worst it's the best concept and the worst concept because every day we have to unravel this stupid hose from there and uh, and then ravel it back up is it's just the worst I, I hate there's got to be a watering system that we can get all the way down there we got the lilac down there uh, so anyway back to the rest of the patio uh, we've got the dining area here we've got the official Genesee brewery umbrella that I actually bought from the Genesee brewery the bar, ladies and gentlemen, the the little pallet bar that I built. Here we are. Uh, so there's four stools. If I can get four of you over here, we'll sit here and have a good time. I put the uh, Yankees sign up, but that's going to re be replaced by that new bar sign that I got. So here we go. Check it out. My man upstate Johnny recognizes that. Just threw some beer caps up there. Got the old Genesee beer uh, bar thingy. I don't know what that is, but whatever. It's there. And, you know, you come over here. <clears throat> you come over here and you get behind the bar and you serve them all up, right? What can I get you guys? How's it going tonight? You know, I gotta get a rag and just kind of constantly wipe down the bar while I'm talking to the patrons. So anyway, new grill. New grill's undercover right now. And this, this is what I was saying. I'm gonna hang. You can see I attached some some hooks to this log 
and I'm going to hang my grill tools out here on this hook and just keep them out here, or out here on this log and just keep them out here the whole time. Uh, this log, so the story behind that, you're going to love this. Uh, I was driving past my old house uh, in Chai Lai, the one I grew up in, and they had cut down, uh, we had, there was like three huge trees in the front yard, and it just, I just happened to time it where I, where I drove by and I saw all the trees cut down and put in the, put on the curb. And I was like, whoa, what, you know, who do they think they are? You know, granted, they own the house, and granted, I haven't lived there since I was a kid, but that's my tree. You know, why, why would you cut down my tree? And uh, this tree was second base for our great kickball league. And uh, so I grabbed a couple of the stumps, and I hauled them into my car, you know, all weighing about 400 pounds, uh, hauled them into my car and said, oh no, I, I'm, I'm taking a piece of the tree with me. So that is the tree of the house that I grew up in. And I touched this tree many times as I stopped at second base after a solid double in kickball. And now it is on my, it is on my patio and I'm going to hang my grill tools on it. So that is awesome. I love that. I have another smaller piece that I'm going to make a table out of. And that's just the best that you can that I can take a piece of my uh, my childhood home and bring. I mean, who'd have thought? You know, when I'm eight years old and I'm sitting there and I'm on second base, and I, you know, who would have thought? Thirty-seven years later, uh, I would have a stump in my yard as an adult, and I'd be hanging my grill tools on it. Who'd have thunk? All right, so. We got a, there's a lot of work to be done still. I, uh, I dug up all this along the pool and we're putting down this river rock. So we started, as you can see, that looks nice. Uh, this is all, not damaged, but this is all from, you know, the patio being torn up and put in and the grass being torn up. So I got to plant grass seed there. I got to put in the river rock. We've got to get some plastic down and cover all this up. This is all going to be river rock going around so you can see that's a big job and it's a stressful job that edging I didn't even put in because it's so impossible I hate doing stuff like that so the old sister-in-law did that for me but I'm gonna put the river rock in there's gonna be a ton we've got two yards of it sitting in the driveway right now and uh, so yeah that's that's what's been driving me nuts lately um, but this is a comfy full size. I wanted, to, I wanted the biggest couch I could get out here because I want to be able to lay down out here and just relax. And that's exactly what I can do on this beast and just, you know, sip, sip the Jenny Lights and the Pepsis and just uh, enjoy. You know, we got some bird baths over there. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to actually put a, another bird bath, or not a bird feeder, Put another bird feeder there. We've got a squirrel feeder there on the ground. That little picnic table is a squirrel feeder. Because uh, when we had the bush there, we would get a ton of birds in the morning just hanging out on the bird feeder, hanging out on the fence, eating the good stuff. And we haven't gotten a lot since we took down the uh, bush, but hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll come back and I can sit out here and, and watch the birds eat. So that's that. That's the patio, and uh, that's what I've been stressed about. How are you doing? Good. All right, good. Did you eat breakfast? No. No? Okay. You rocking your jammies still? Yes. Oh, this crappy thing. We, uh, we're going to have a... Oh, my God, it's drying up. I'll yeah. A we were going to have a frog pond. I was going to build a frog pond, so we got a bunch of tadpoles, and we were storing them in this thing until they turned into frogs. And I was going to put the frog pond over in that corner over there by the fence. I was going to dig all that out. I'm still going to dig it out, and it's just going to be a garden. Yeah, this is all going to be garden. That's another stressor. All of this has to get dug up. Hang on, Finn, or hang on, Liam. We're going to rototill this this weekend, turn it all over, and this is going to be more gardening. So we're going to we're going to kind of repeat what's over there. We're going to put it over here. 
but this was going to be a frog pond in this corner there. But, uh, I don't know, all the tadpoles died. <laughs> they, they didn't make it. Oh, Liam says there's one surviving. See, look at Nobody else is moving, but if you can watch this. No, I know. It's okay. See? Yeah. We have to save that one. All right, we'll try to save him. Okay, so that's the backyard, and uh, that's the five-year-old. And we'll see you later. I have to go. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. Good night now. I gotta go.